Hello everyone. Good evening. Uh, I am back to talk a little bit about liver health. I'm just going to scroll just to make sure everything's in focus. And I'll give it another minute. So uh, I'm always kind of looking around on my screen <laughs> because I have not mastered the um, the whole live video technique. Mm -hmm. So um, I will be looking at my phone periodically because I do think uh, it helps sometimes to <clears throat> to take a look to see who's on. So um, welcome and uh, it's great that people are excited about the gut challenge and are participating and asking questions and commenting. I love it. It's um, it's really great also to see all of the new members and people coming in and posting pictures about themselves and doing their selfies and you know just sharing with us what they are hoping to accomplish uh, regard in regards to to their health journey, of course. So I just wanted to give a big welcome to all of our new uh, members. There are many of you. So, you know, you'll see from day to day that I go through the messages and try to keep up with um, who is coming in as well as to uh, reach out to you personally to see if there's anything that I can do to help you with uh, your health journey as well. So I'm going to, you know, pick up where we left off yesterday, which was uh, talking a little bit about the small intestine and the large intestine and some things that you could do that are simple and easy to uh, get your uh, intestinal tract to uh, to be at its optimal health. Uh, I also mentioned fermented foods. Again, it's very important that you pace yourself. And if you are not experienced with taking fermented foods and eating them on a regular basis, do it in very small portions. Start out, start out small and see how you, um, how your body tolerates it, and then you can go from there. So, uh, the next uh, important organ that we are going to talk about today is the liver. So, the liver is uh, sometimes referred to as the washing machine of the digestive tract, and so all things we eat and drink gets filtered through, goes through the liver at some point when things are broken down. The liver is what we call, uh, we sometimes refer to as the, the master organ. It is one of the most powerful organs in the body and fatty liver disease, of course, a lot of people are, are accustomed to hearing about, um, is a condition that usually tells us that our liver health is, uh, is not what it should be. And uh, fatty liver disease is one of those conditions that uh, commonly affects people in the United States uh, for the simple fact that our liver is not at its optimal health. So the liver, as you know, is an important part of the digestive process. And if the liver is not working well, uh, then there is a problem with what is actually exiting the body properly. And when I say that I specifically mean what is actually exiting um, the gut properly, right? And so as you can imagine, if your liver health is poor, uh, then you're likely not detoxing and, f and the body's not flushing out and getting clearing the things that, that you should be clearing from your gut. There are three phases of detoxification in the body. And so there are essentially three exit points for detoxification uh, in the body. Two come through the liver and the third goes through the gut. All three have to work properly for optimal health. Yesterday I talked about the importance of ref the reflex processes in the pancreas and the liver. The liver function is important for cleaning up uh, the, you know, the blood as well as the lymphatics. A poorly functioning liver means a poorly functioning gut. 
we, you know, um, essentially, if our, our liver is clogged and those bile ducts are clogged, then toxins will build up in the body. Toxins uh, won't be able to leave through the gut the way that it should. The liver has uh, two detoxification phases, as I mentioned. There's a phase one and a phase two. If they are not supported, it creates an imbalance. So it is important to support liver health and to have proper gut health and balance. So we talked about some ways to, uh, to improve your oral health. We also talked about ways to improve your stomach health. And we also talked about ways to improve your uh, intestinal health. Now, the liver uh, has ways, of course, to also detoxify it and, and keep it running the way that it should. Uh, you can do that, of course, with certain foods incorporating certain foods in your diet. Uh, lemon can help with uh, uh, liver uh, congestion as well as uh, certain other vegetables such as beets. Uh, and so there are other uh, natural ways with just the foods that you eat that can do that. So in that same breath, it's also important to consider our genetics and also just environmental uh, stressors, as well as chemicals uh, that we might be exposed to that, you know, is contributing to liver congestion. And so if you're someone that is in that category that has, whether it's a genetic uh, predisposition as well as environmental stressors and uh, chemical, possible uh, chemical exposures, that might make it uh, more difficult for you to uh, clear the liver, then uh, you might be someone who could benefit from an additional additional support. So uh, there are products that are great for providing support to the liver and helping to clear toxins. And I will place a couple of links for, uh, for people who are interested in learning more and taking a look at some products that might help to support their liver. One product is called Advanced Tudka, T-U-D-C-A. And that can, can get rid of toxins that have accumulated in the liver. And so uh, that is a product that uh, might be beneficial if you're really struggling with um, you know, getting that liver to be at its, uh, your liver to be at its optimal health. Another product called Dual Phase X is also good uh, for helping to support the liver. And it's good for phase one and phase two liver detoxification. Uh, it is a natural product, you know, with um, combination of herbs. And it is beneficial in helping to move things along uh, through both phase one and phase two to make it more effective for things to move along in the right direction into phase three. And that is what you want. You want things to be moving in the right direction to phase three to be able to actually leave the gut the way that it should. And so uh, these are, as I mentioned, products that can aid in uh, supporting the liver uh, to optimize liver, liver health. Uh, so again, a couple of things to mention. Now we're day four into the gut health challenge. We talked about oral health. We talked about stomach health. We talked about small intestinal health as well as large intestinal health. Day four, we talked about liver health and what you can do to improve your liver. And more importantly is the point of this uh uh, today's uh, health challenge uh, day uh, is to reinforce how important it is to not forget how vital it is for you to make sure that you are um, that you have uh, optimal liver function, optimal liver health, and so a lot of what you pour into your body contributes to that. If you are eating a lot of processed foods. Uh, not, uh, you know, getting enough water into your diet, 
not uh, having a diversity of foods that you eat, including high fiber uh, diet as well as fermented foods in your diet. This will greatly impact your gut health from top to bottom. And so uh, as we move into uh, day five, I really want you to be mindful about what you've been doing throughout this week, keeping a journal of what you've been doing throughout this week. And while you're implementing all of the new things that, uh, that I've suggested throughout the week, uh, just being mindful about what is working for you and what is not working for you. Uh, so that wraps up uh, today, our day four of the Gut Health Challenge. Uh, I hope that you all are um, seeing great results. You know, I expect that you are if you're, you know, staying with it and keeping, you know, consistent throughout the past four days. Uh, you know, I will be back tomorrow again with another live video. I will have the links uh, for you after the video. And um, just make sure that if you have any questions, please feel free to DM me or click on the link, which I will also have in the video post to schedule a complimentary call with me to learn more. All right, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Take care.